think back on those uh, mid to late 1980s years. So there were four kind of landmark bands on Broken Records, Undercover, Alter Boys, The Choir, and Crumbacher. And then all of a sudden, around 1985, these bands had nowhere to go. The Choir ended up going somewhere else. Undercover, we started our own label. And then Crumbacher and Alter Boys especially kind of became the flagship releases for Frontline Records. Lifesavers end up joining Nobody's Special. These were all groups we were closely connected to. And of course, Frontline went on to kind of become the main progenitor of, of the whole Christian metal thing, and they really owned that space. They did a great job with finding talent and allowing these groups to make the records that they wanted to make. So I think it's really great that, gosh, as many of these bands that are still out there doing it, plugging away, pounding the pavement, hitting the road, it's pretty great that that whole Frontline catalog is available again. And it's not just those groups, but then there were other uh, mainstays, extremely talented artists like Benny Hester and stuff that were disenfranchised from the kind of music industry in general and uh, found a great home on Frontline. So it's great that the stuff's out there again. iTunes, through Mize Music Group, I'm sure that the fans and the artists are all going to work out for everyone.